Mercedes has been closing in on their Formula 1 rivals as the season has progressed, and the Silver Arrows believe that they will only get better between now and the end of the year. Mercedes intends to make far, far more upgrades to their cars this season in order to increase Lewis Hamilton's chances of winning races in 2022. So are Red Bull getting scared of Mercedes because of the upgrades? Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. This year, the Silver Arrows have not been capable of winning races, but they've been improving, and their best result of the season so far came at the French Grand Prix. Hamilton finished second, with George Russell finishing third thanks to a late race overtake on Sergio Perez. In the post-race debrief, Mercedes Chief Technical Officer James Allison provided a promising update for the future. He said, A race is over 50 plus laps, and having a car that's competitive on all of those gives you opportunities, and we've typically been able to move forward through the race into a strong position. That said, we'd obviously prefer to be more competitive in qualifying. Some tracks like Budapest will cause us issues, and we need to make sure we are really there or thereabouts to make sure we don't have a number of other teams between ourselves and Ferrari and Red Bull. While Mercedes tries to catch up to the front runners, Ferrari has made a dramatic statement of their own. Team boss Mattia Bonotto has warned competitors that they believe they can win the final 10 races of the season and capture both titles. He said, at the end of the season, we will see where we are. But I think what's more important to see today, once again, is the good package. There is no reason why we cannot win 10 races from now to the end. And I think that the way to look at this positively, and I like to be positive, staying optimistic, could something happen to Max and Red Bull? I'm not counting on it. We need to be focusing on ourselves and do our best. Despite Mercedes' early problems in 2022, Red Bull CEO Helmut Marko warned that his squad is still scared of Mercedes and their dangerous potential. Following the Monaco Grand Prix, Red Bull leads the Constructors' Championship by 101 points over octuple world champions Mercedes with Ferrari as their closest opponent. This is also evident in the Drivers' Championship, as defending champion Max Verstappen leads George Russell by 41 points and Lewis Hamilton by 75 points. The Silver Arrows have won the championship every year since 2014, winning several races along the way but they are clearly struggling to adjust to the new regulatory regime. Porpoising, which causes vehicles to bounce uncontrollably, has disrupted Mercedes' season, and any progress made to address the issue was undone at Monte Carlo, where the issue seemed worse than ever, much to the chagrin of their drivers. While seven-time world champion Hamilton has battled for consistency this season, his new colleague Russell has shined, finishing in the top five in every race this season. Marco, 24, has already achieved two podiums in a good start to his career, and he is concerned about the potential pace at the hands of the all-British squad. Red Bull's special advisor said, Mercedes is doing incredibly fast laps in practice, and also in the races, both with Hamilton and Russell. Not continuously, so for us it's difficult to interpret where that lap time is coming from. Listening closely to the Mercedes people, I don't think they know either. But the dangerous thing is, the potential seems to be there. And once that can be caught up over a race distance, then they'll be right up there or right at the front. Russell is now fourth in the Drivers' Championship, trailing only Max Verstappen, Ferrari Charles Leclerc, and Red Bull's Sergio Perez. Hamilton is in sixth place behind Carlos Sainz. When asked if he felt Mercedes had been faking its speed all season, Marco denied it. No, it's not a bluff. The bluff was where they had this weird engine advantage, and last year the Hamilton engine, there they were bluffing hard. So I don't believe that. And it's really incredibly hard to understand where this car is incredibly fast. They were the fastest in the field at one stage, but it doesn't last long. What exactly changes there? Why can't they drive that continuously is just, thank God, still the problem, I would say. Red Bull delivered enhancements to the British Grand Prix after CEO Christian Horner agreed that Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton could improve their cars and make them contenders. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko said that changes will be forthcoming at Silverstone, where Max Verstappen will attempt to put Hamilton and Charles Leclerc at bay in the driver's standings. Marko confirmed that Red Bull will be providing enhancements at Silverstone, although he did not specify the quantity of the package. Mercedes has already declared that they would be bringing enhancements to their car, with technical director Mike Elliott admitting that they will be trying to push the vehicle ahead, following Hamilton and George Russell's successive results. Red Bull CEO Christian Horner confirmed that Mercedes would be a factor as Hamilton attempted to win his fourth consecutive British Grand Prix and eighth in nine years. Horner said, Mercedes' pace in the race today at the Canadian Grand Prix, as you know, they were competitive. Smooth circuit at Silverstone, they could be a factor, Horner told the F1 Nation podcast. We know that Ferrari's good in the high-speed stuff, we saw that in Barcelona, so you'd think it would swing perhaps back towards Ferrari's domain. We knew Azerbaijan and this race were tracks that might favour us, and we've nailed those two results, which I'm really delighted with. 
Verstappen leads his teammate Sergio Perez by 85 points in the driver's standings, and Ferrari Charles Leclerc by 80 points as the 24-year-old aims to win back-to-back -back world titles. Despite enjoying a dominating early position, Marco has warned that reliability might still hurt the Dutch star. He added, Reliability is always a concern if you have a car that is so much on the limit. You see that at Ferrari. The only ones who don't have a technical DNF yet are Mercedes, but they had to lift during some races because of overheating problems. We also had a sprint race, which helped us to get a lot more points. We have an unbelievable run now. Normally in the first half of the season, we were always catching up and now are dominating. In mid-July of 2022, Formula One team executives met with FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem to address present and future challenges. To the chagrin of Mattia Bonotto and Toto Wolff, Red Bull Racing reportedly requested for new constructor status at the meeting. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, this would have given the team a larger budget than its direct competitors. During the meeting, a number of agenda items were agreed upon, including new rules to limit porpoising in 2022. However, the team executives have not yet reached an agreement on the engine regulations that will take effect in the next four years. A key problem involves new manufacturers' potential competitive advantage. Incumbent constructors do not appreciate the prospect of a new engine quickly dominating the field as Mercedes did in 2014. Ferrari and Mercedes are keeping a careful eye on Red Bull Racing, which may be able to benefit from the new constructors' regulations. Christian Horner's team requested this designation since it has never previously developed engines and its dedicated Milton Keynes section is only getting started. It would provide Red Bull more leeway in building its power unit than competitor teams, who will also be subject to an engine spending constraint from next season. Furthermore, Ferrari and Mercedes are concerned about Porsche's impending announcement of a cooperation with Red Bull Racing. That announcement has yet to be made since negotiations between the teams are ongoing and not yet completed. Although rival teams regard it as a possible competitive advantage for Red Bull, the Austrian team would potentially have a double budget because it would be building both its own engine and one in collaboration with Porsche. Furthermore, the team seeks assurances that Porsche and Audi will not work together to violate the financial restriction. Limits to be determined should be included in technical regulations to ensure this. What are your thoughts on Mercedes' recent improvements and their chances to win the 2022 championship with Lewis Hamilton? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Keep an eye out for the next video. Bye for now.